In this video, you'll discover the powerful benefits of an antioxidant called glutathione. Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski from NewVisionExcel.com. If you're new to the channel, as always, it is such a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and I'm going to help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're talking about glutathione benefits. Glutathione is a very powerful antioxidant. It's the master antioxidant in the body, which is absolutely vital to the body's defense system and also vital to your overall health. So you can imagine what happens if somebody's depleted of glutathione. So what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to talk about the benefits of glutathione, what depletes us of glutathione, and how to restore glutathione levels, which is extraordinarily important. So let's dive into the benefits of glutathione. And one of the major things it's going to do is it's going to decrease free radicals. Now you may know this already if you've seen many of my other videos, but free radicals are involved in the degenerative and degenerative process and breakdown of the body. So if we want to, you know, age better, if we want to stay healthy, if we don't want to suffer from chronic disease issues, we want to always decrease free radicals. Glutathione is going to help us do that. Glutathione is also going to help reduce inflammation. I'm talking about reducing inflammation at a cellular level. So there's over 40 trillion plus cells in the body. We want to actually focus on reducing inflammation at every single one of those because as you may know as well is inflammation is the root cause of disease. You know, whether it's heart disease, whether it's cancer, it all begins with inflammation. And so glutathione is going to support that. Glutathione is also a safe chelator. It's actually able to bind up some of these different heavy metals that people suffer from and it will help pull them from the body. So that's really great as well. It also is a safe detoxifier, okay, along with being a safe chelator pulling those heavy metals, it's also able to pull toxins from the body. So as you come into contact with all these different environmental toxins on a daily basis, it'll help get those out of your system so that you can stay healthy and you know stay free of free radicals and a lot of inflammation as well. And then it also is going to support immune balance. Okay, so if you're suffering from some sort of immune condition, you know, whether it's a thyroid condition or a gut condition or allergies, any of these different immune conditions out there, glutathione is going to support that balancing of the immune system. So once again, that's another major benefit of it as well. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the things here that deplete us of glutathione, okay? The first on our list here is chronic stress, and you're probably thinking of chronic stress in the way of emotional stress, which is absolutely a stressor on the body that's going to deplete us of glutathione, but the thing that's important to remember is stress can come in many different forms to the body. Let's talk about some of them. First of all is poor diet. If you're someone who's eating a very poor quality diet, high in processed foods, a diet that has chemicals in the food, then essentially what happens is you're activating your body's defense system every time you you eat and you're depleting glutathione levels. Remember, glutathione is vital to the defense system. And so anytime you activate that defense system, you're using your source of glutathione. Smoking is quite an obvious one, but yes, that's going to deplete us. Autoimmune conditions. When you see people who are suffering from autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, people who have gut conditions, you know, so on and so forth, essentially what happens is they're just going to rip right through their glutathione stores and they're going to deplete them. And so when I see someone who has autoimmune conditions and we go and we do some testing to look at their nutrient levels, essentially what we typically find is glutathione is just absolutely depleted. And so then of course we go through this process of trying to raise it back up. Okay, so autoimmune condition is going to deplete you. A decreased sulfur intake. Now when we look at decreased sulfur intake, we're looking at people who are not eating enough leafy greens in the diet, people who are not consuming enough cruciferous vegetables. So we want to make sure that when it comes to increasing our sulfur intake, we also are consuming more leafy greens, more cruciferous vegetables. Next one is environmental toxins. Okay, I did a whole video on that. I'll put it in the description description below. And when we look at environmental toxins, you know, whether you're drinking out of plastics, you're using beauty products that are just absolutely loaded with different toxins. Basically, every time you do this, what happens is you're activating your defense system in your body to keep you alive. Glutathione, we know that's a huge part of it, and you are depleting yourself of glutathione. So environmental toxins are absolutely crucial to avoid if you want to keep your glutathione stores 
at a good level, okay? And then also chronic exercise, okay? So if people who are just, you know, exercising an enormous amount, far beyond their body's capacity, you're going to deplete glutathione levels. As many times when people are sick and they have a hard time burning fat off their body or they have a hard time losing weight, they have weight loss resistance, so on and so forth, one of the things they typically do is they'll go to the gym and they'll just work their heart out in the gym, but essentially what many of them see is they actually get sicker. So the harder they work in the gym, the more fatigue they have, the less energy, the more inflammation in their body, the more sick they become. So chronic exercise when you are ill as well is also going to be very bad for you, okay? Now let's talk about how we go in and actually get sufficient levels of glutathione in the body. Now when we look at how we're actually going to boost glutathione levels in the body, the first order of business is we need to make all of this stop. If you're someone who's living a lifestyle full of environmental toxins, you got to clean that up. If you're someone who's eating a poor quality diet, you got to clean that up. If you're someone who's suffering from some sort of condition, Raising glutathione levels is going to support it, but also what's very important is that we actually start making steps towards fixing that condition and not just covering it up. So here's the thing is that we need to stop this, but now let's talk about how we actually can nutritionally boost glutathione levels in the body. There's two forms of glutathione in the body. There's the reduced form and the oxidized form. The reduced form is that arm guard that is ready to protect us. Now the oxidized form is essentially that arm guard that already did protect us. They can't protect us again. They already did their job. So when we look at nutritionally raising glutathione in the body, we want to raise the reduced form because that's what's going to protect us. That's what's going to protect us at a cellular level. That's what's going to protect us and decrease inflammation and free radicals. And it's very important to make sure that we're actually increasing glutathione at a cellular level as well. So we need to increase glutathione intracellularly. And so when we raise it, we want to focus on raising the reduced form. And so what we do here is we can take like S-acetylglutathione, for instance, and that's going to help raise the reduced form. But glutathione is very expensive, so to speak, for the body to make. So we also want to take this oxidized form and we want to bring it back to the reduced form. And you can consume nutrients like milk thistle, selenium, alpha-lipoic acid that are really going to support this process of taking the oxidized form and turning it back into the reduced form so it's ready to protect us once again. What I'll do is I'll link below the nutritional supplement that we use to support not only the reduced form, but the recycling of the oxidized form of glutathione to bring it back so that it's ready to protect us again. And then once we raise glutathione levels intracellularly, we're able to actually take autoimmune conditions and support them and even support reversing them. We're able to decrease free radicals, decrease inflammation, detoxify the body, balance the immune system, and so much more. So when we look at really, you know, what is so vital to overall health and possibly one of the most important videos I've done yet, it's really making sure that we raise these glutathione levels up. So this way we can support the body's defense system at a cellular level and then this essentially will offer us true health. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can see this information as it is so important. Subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate that.